Hi everyone, it's Beck. Welcome back to my channel. I am on here with a bit of a project share um, and something exciting to announce. So I have been crafting with the Let's Get Crafty collection from Simple Stories and I have made a few pretty projects that I would like to share with you. Um, so I have a craft tote bag here and also a junk journal which I made up and used my new cinch tool so I'm gonna show you all of it so I'll just pop that one to the side and we'll do a quick flip through of the junk journal first so as I said I've binded it all up I popped on this cute little tassel that I got from Cheryl some time ago now but I just thought the colors worked perfectly um, with this journal popped a little heart rosette on the top it says crafty and happy and just put a couple of little um, decorative bits on the front there so the cover is thick board and so I'm just gonna pop on through and have a look with you so I'm just gonna actually move this out to the side just so that I can get this properly in frame yeah that's looking pretty good okay so on the front i've put craft supplies and you can put your details and you've got your craft tote like the one i made and little bits and pieces so i have left this fairly blank so that um, the person can put whatever they want on each page so this one says i craft past my bedtime and it's got the craft desk this is a blank page that has got I can totally make that and then we flip over and then we have living that crafty life with the Polaroid camera this side is a pattern page and I also popped on this um, trim and it says memories and then we flip it over and we've got a blank grid page which I just wanted to keep blank then we have another blank page so I have popped on this um, bingo card which can be taken off and then I've just put a little tab on the side that says create and then on the other side we've got a calendar and these ones can be just taken off they're just held with the paper clip so that page is left quite blank I love this page so this one's got like the little folder and book stack and the coffee mug down the bottom and I love this black rainbow polka dot page then we've just got and I stitched all around this this one as well some of them are stitched this one just has crafters gonna craft and this pretty floral paper behind then we've got this page that looks like if you've got one of the um, American Crafts um, cutting board like what I've got it looks exactly like that and then down the bottom I've just put a bit of a um, embellishment glue you know your um, what do they call them <laughs> stationary cups little ribbon little spool then we've got this pretty rainbow page which I have left blank then I did a, a vellum page and I have a so I used my mink I um, foiled the metallic hearts on it I stitched it up and then inside I have just popped in these tags that I made so we've got it's crafty time it's me time live dream create happy girl with the coffee cup and the tag 365 all day every day I've just used some puffy stickers and bits and pieces to decorate these up and then we've got create super cute things crafty girl admit one so I popped those tags in there
Then the next one, it's got, I've left this one like um, blank because there's so many details on it already. So we've got Crafted Magazine. I did pop this really pretty trim on the edge just to give it a bit more decoration. Then on the other side, we've got this pretty green um, plaid and I've just put love, love, love at the top and I've left that one blank. Then we've got another playing card stock page. So I just did some zigzag stitching around the edge and popped on this cute paper clip with a little tassel and charm and it says colour me happy. This is just bulging a little bit. And then on the other side, we've got a little um, journal card that just says currently crafting. Then we've got this pretty pink and white polka dot page with a little um, folder, washi tape pencil, and it just says love it. I love the vibrancy of the colours in this collection. And then we've got this one again, which is just plain because there's so many details. Then I just put this, I did a bit of um, playing around again with my mink and did a floral stencil. So you can see there's like pinks and golds. It was a bit of an ombre kind of foil. So I just popped that one in there for some detail. Then on this page is another playing card stock. I've just zigzag stitched around with the little typewriter and the envelope with the Polaroids. This one, which I thought was appropriate, it says life's a stitch and it's got the sewing machine there. Then we have another very brightly colored page that says happy and crafty at the top. And then I just pop this kind of off-white pom-pom trim on that one. And then another grid journaling page. And this one has the orange and pink grid, or oh, plaid should I say, with pretty and the and the flowers and then on the back this one's a floral one and it says i craft because and then it gives some different different reasons and then i've just popped this little um, pocket on the back and just popped some little journaling cards in that one and then we have the back cover which again is thick board and then on the back it just says Li dream live and create so that is the junk journal you can see it's quite chunky So that is the junk journal. Then I will show you the craft tote I created. So it is loaded full of handmade and a few store-bought items. So I popped this, I'm just going to try and flip it a little bit. It's so big. Okay, so I've, I've popped a rosette and laid it up. And it says my happy place I've popped on this dangle charm it has like a little heart key a butterfly some beads a couple of little tassels so I think I'll do the pockets around the outside first and then I'll show you the inside so um, as a craft tote, I popped in a few bits and pieces that the person can use up themselves. So we've got some of these little organza flowers. And 
This one has some little um, eyelets in different colors. These are perfect for embellishments. They're just the right size and you can use them with your crocodile. Then if I turn to the back, I've popped in some little colored pegs. So we've got some pink ones, some mint ones, some wooden ones and some gold ones. And then in this one, I've popped in some little pom-poms. And then on the side, they wouldn't fit in one, so on the one side, I popped in this shaker teacup. And then on the other side, I popped in another teacup with a different mix and a different color. So they're very cute. And I love the sound they make. <laughs> so they go in there. Then I think we'll pop the straps to the side and I'll just work my way front to back. So in the front, I got these gorgeous little puffy um, butterflies. So there's a rainbow colored one and an iridescent white one. And there's three of each color. There is two of these little layered embellished backpacks. And I love the colors on them. I love how these ones turned out. This one just has some um, scalloped circle embellishments. And I've just backed them onto some acetate. And then we have a pair of shaker bows. And as you can see, each one has a different shaker. And I use the little, um, oh, what do they call them? The little clay, what do you call them? I can never remember. Yeah, they're like little clay shaker mixes. Perfect for these kinds of projects. So that is in the front. They're all strategically popped in here, so I don't want to mark them up. Okay, in the middle, I have a packet of gold doilies. I think there's about 20 or so in there. And I've just popped a little um, bag topper on that. Then I've popped in a packet of glittery gems, sticky gems. And I've also popped in this Nuvo Aquashimmer. Um, it's like a brush. I have one myself, so I can actually show you. But I'm not going to turn it upside down because otherwise the ink starts coming out. But you can do it on the oh it's even doing it on my finger it's very subtle but it gives your projects or your ephemera whatever you want a bit of a glitter a bit of a glitter tinge so it's very subtle it's very very pretty so that's what that one is and then i popped in a whole lot of rosettes that I made so I made a combination of heart rosettes Ooh, there's a bit of glue string so sorry about that so we've got the heart ones 
and I've just left them plain so the person can embellish them up. And then I made these patterned round ones. And they're quite chunky. So that is the middle section. Let me just pop these things back in. As I said, it's all just so strategic. And then in the back one, we have a shake mix and it says making crafts and messes <laughs> and there's like greens and yellows and pinks and whites in there and then I made another sequin mix again and this one has got like a darker green gold yellow pink it says live, dream, live, and create. I have a little ribbon, um, and it says handmade with love. So, a little ribbon spool. Then there is a pocket. I actually don't even remember what I put in this side this pocket to be honest with you. Oh, it has some tea in it. That's what that was. And I just put this tag. little bag then I made a handmade card and I popped a rosette on it and decorated it up it is blank on the inside so the person can use it to send a message to whomever they like and it just says I make cute things with the typewriter Then I popped a acrylic stamp in here and I thought that one was really pretty with the flower and the circles and the, the font. I popped a bottle of Nuvo Crystal Drops and this one is Bubblegum Blush, one of my favourites. And then I made a little clipboard. It's got the little craft trolley on there, a tassel and some beads, and this pink bulldog clip. And then I made these butterfly, so different butterfly embellishments. So we've got these layered ones, and I've popped some Nouveau drops on them to just give them a bit more decoration. And then a big packet of different sizes and details and colors and there's a whole lot in there backed with some good sturdy cardstock and I love that pretty colored polka dot print so that was on the back so let me just pop those back in it's like a jigsaw <laughs> Thank you. 
And then, oh, I forgot to mention as well that I popped this cute little pom-pom on the back that I received in a swap some time ago because I cannot make pom-poms, but I just thought that that worked perfectly. So that is the craft tote. And I love how these turned out. So the exciting thing is that I am actually giving these away as part of a giveaway challenge. So not only would the winner receive both of these items, but I have also got, I'm just going to pop these to the side just for a second. I have also got this collection from Simple Stories. I did buy it for myself and I loved it so much that I wanted to include it in this challenge. So the winner will not only receive these handmade items and some of the store-bought ones that are in the craft caddy, but they will also receive a packet of um, die cuts, so the ephemera from the Simple Stories Let's Go. They will also get a packet of the journal bits. A six by eight paper pad. And I'm not, I can't open it because it is closed up at the end, but you can see all of the patterns on here. And if you've watched one of my previous haul videos you would have seen the paper in the 12 by 12 so that that's a bit of a an indicator but there's lots of cute patterns in this there is also a packet of the thickers sentiments which I, I have shown this collection in full in one of my previous videos. So if you want to take a closer look, please do go and have a look. And then lastly, I have the chipboard stickers. And you can see how gorgeous they are. So all of this, plus this, plus this is up for grabs in my giveaway challenge. Now, what do you need to do to enter? Okay, I really love the idea that other people have been going for with um, accumulating points depending on the, the kinds of things that you make. So I will pop all of the details um, in, in greater detail in the description box. Um, but basically, um, if you make me a dangle charm, or a tag flip that's going to give you three entries for each if you do two packets of two handmade embellishments or a shaker embellishment that's two entries for each an embellished rosette a sequin mix a handmade card or memory decks card will earn you one point for each so there is the option of sending, making and sending multiple things or sending one thing. I will leave that completely up to you. Um, but you can use any collection that you like. Um, and then I will have this running until, let's say, the end of October, um, which will give people, you know, enough time to kind of make and send what they want to use as their entries um, and I will share everyone who enters here on Instagram um, here on YouTube I always get so confused between YouTube and Instagram um, but yes yeah, so I just wanted to make this and kind of connect with other crafters and kind of give something back um, and make it a little bit exciting so um, this is not, I'm not like um, affiliated with Simple Stories. I just wanted to include this beautiful collection as part of the giveaway. Um, and this um, challenge is open internationally. So wherever you are in the world, you're more than welcome to enter and be in with a chance to win these gorgeous goodies. So 
Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your support and being with me on my crafting adventure. And this giveaway is just kind of just give a little bit of thanks back. Um, but there will be runners up. Even if you don't win this big package, I will also be giving four handmade um, and a few couple of stalwart goodies to three runner up. So there's this big prize and three runners up. Um, so good luck, everyone. And I look forward to receiving your entries. As I said, please see the description box below for um, more, more descriptive details. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you for watching. Bye.